Okay, hi guys. Hi. I'm wearing my harness today. So, um, I decided I'm going to try doing this with a glass measuring cup. Um, hopefully that stops smoking. Okay. And I got these jars. I'm going to put this candle right here. I'm put this candle in this jar. And then I'm going to put the two bread candles into the jars that say Merry Christmas on them. And again, these are the candles that we get from Bath and Body Works. I got a paper plate. And I'm going to get me a little knife. This will work. Okay. I'm just heating up the stove, trying to get the water hot so that it'll melt the wax. Oop. Okay. And you just take a knife and you can pull these out like that. Okay. And then what you can do is you can take them. And this is one that they already burnt a little bit of. But as you can tell, there's a lot of the candle left. So then what I do is I just take these because they're still a little sticky on the bottom. And I put the wicks into the new jar. Because there's still a little stickiness on them. So what I do is situate them in there. Okay. Okay. And get the third one out. Now you don't have to use all three wicks if you don't want to. Um, I just know I enjoy. I, I just personally enjoy having the three wick. It to me seems better to burn. Okay. And then put this wick in here. Okay. So then I look down in the top, see where I've got the wicks placed, and then I can move them around a little bit and then when I think I've got them in the places I want them to stay I just take that knife I used to pull them out of the candle and just kind of push down on them and that glue that was on them just seems to keep them in spot okay now as you can tell our candle here was already ready to fall apart so I just break it apart a little bit more and, um, but, okay we're going to put the pieces into the so this is the first time we're doing it this way now, I did this again with another candle but I used the double baggy method and I'm kind of glad I wasn't recording that one because that that one that wax got everywhere because um, I, I think I got the water too hot was the problem Okay, so, oop. Oh, geez. That's why the knife I'm using to do this is not very sharp. If you saw, it kind of just like stuck me, but it didn't stick me, stick me. So I'm going to try and cut some of this last piece down. Shave it down to so try and get it in there. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to, I figured, oops. Just cut the paper plate. Huh. Um, figure since I'm going to use the glass, I'd show you all what I was doing. Okay. I'm going to try and push this. Now I think I got way too much wax for this little tiny cup, or I just didn't cut the wax down enough. <sighs> okay. So we're going to let this melt a little, and then I'll just... As it melts, I'll start adding more and more wax into it until we get all the wax in here and get all the wax melted. And then what I'll do is I'll take this 
this candle shouldn't be that hot and I could just pick it up and pour it right into the jar so hopefully this will work out fingers crossed okay so real quick while we're waiting for that to start melting um, a lot of people I've seen on my like Facebook pages and stuff ask how we get the get this stuff to get the paint off now I'm not too worried about getting the paint off here but as you noticed in my last video the hot water was taking the paint off the bottom of the pot um, but I also use this stuff cry cutter or this stuff I use one or the other depending on what the item is and what I and how bad it is and then I use hot water and soap and then from there I'm able to you know blot it with a towel and then yeah so that's how you get the the red paint off of the Bed Bath & Beyond stuff okay so now we're just waiting for the candle wax to mint let's see if I can pick this up and see if we're getting anywhere well looks like we're starting to melt a little heat up just a little bit okay, guys, so I wanted to check in with you real quick and show you got the water boiling a little hot hotter than I meant for it but you can see it's starting to wax is starting to melt and so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the water So, I'm not sure how well we're going to do. We might have to do half a candle at a time. But this is going to be our first attempt with doing the whole candle. It was kind of belted down a little bit anyway. So, it's not technically the whole candle candle. I wonder if I can just pour a little bit of the melted wax in, oop, in here. I'm going to just gently pouring. A few chunks getting in there, not a big deal. Okay, so I just poured them right down the middle. Of course, this will start to harden. And don't forget, we put this in the freezer, or in the fridge. I put that in the fridge for like, mm, about 20 minutes it usually is done getting hard but I usually just leave it overnight so let's see now I did get all the candle pieces in there I turned my heat down And the only reason why when I came back on I had that pot holder in my hand is because the water was boiling out and so the hot water was hitting me. But this is not hot. This, this handle is not hot. But you remember it came up out of the cut, so let's see. Yeah, what's Melting good. I'm pouring a little bit more right in the center. Right in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do half a candle at a time. And I probably want to cut the candle down a little bit more. I did find that the smaller the pieces that you make of the wax, no matter what you're cooking it in, or melting it in, no matter the smaller pieces of the wax, the smaller pieces tend to melt faster. So the smaller you get it, usually the faster it'll melt. Okay, I'm going to keep on trucking here and be back with you guys in just a bit as soon as this is done. Or unless something else comes up. 
Okay, guys, so I uh, put the other two candles up. I'm still going to go into these fun two containers right here, but um, I'm not going to do them today. This is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, you know, I didn't film the whole thing melting, but I'm going to pour some more in here. Thinking if I can get the hot wax that's already melted wax into the thing, it'll allow the chunked up stuff to melt a little faster now. I don't know why I'm thinking that because you figure if it's got hot wax in there, it's going to melt. But hmm, I'll give it a different try. But it seems to be melting fast, so faster now. So, but as you can see, the original pours that we did, it's already started to harden. Oops. So, it doesn't take long for these things to get, you know, hard in their container. Now, when I put it in the fridge, I do not put the lid on it because I want the cold air to hit it. I want the container to be open so that the coldness from the fridge can help cool the candle down. So, Now, if I had multiples of this particular candle scent, I'd probably just keep on trucking because I wouldn't feel the need to clean out um, or clean off the knife and clean out the, the measuring cup. But because each one of these candles that we find at Bath & Body Works is different scents, unless I have two of the same scent, I'm going to take the time to really wash out the um, measuring cup and stuff so that the two scents don't mingle because they don't you don't need to mingle these two you don't need to ming, mingle any of their scents actually because their scents by themselves are very good smelling so but yeah it looks like it's starting to melt down faster now that we're coming near the end as you can tell the big pieces are still kind of there but the smaller pieces like right here was a small piece that's really starting to just kind of dissipate mm -mm. so yeah so before I do another candle I'd want to clean off everything um, clean off my knife get a new I, I'd use paper plates just because it's and just throw them away and you don't have to worry about trying to get the wax off of your plates or your cutting board because remember from the last one we did the cutting board that was a pain I mean it was easy to get off with a little scraping edge thing but still kind of just a pain so okay let's see how far we are oh we're almost there so I'm gonna just pour more in here I don't know if I'm getting that right okay pour 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 all right I'm gonna put this back in and try and get these last few pieces to melt And then um, at the end, I will um, reveal it after it's been in the fridge for a little bit. But, but as you can see, it's the bottom part. You can see where we've been pouring. This is starting to hard. This is just what we just poured. And I actually think I like the measuring cup better because I can pour it right in the middle and I don't get all that... If you saw, we got a lot of stuff on the outsides that we had to scrape down on the other one that we filmed. So, with the measuring cup, I can put right in the middle. And I don't worry about moving the wicks. They're right where I want them to be. And I'm not getting wax everywhere on the bottle. One of my uh, adopted kids, my oldest daughter's best friend, came over yesterday. And I was showing her the pink one that we did and a couple of the other ones that I did. But I thought I, I bought Dollar General out of these um, cute little glass containers. And she was looking at the pink one because we did the pink one in a joy. And she said, you know, Mom, you could actually do, like, melt down these candles and then just sell them. So, I mean, it's always an option. I personally like to make my house smell pretty, but if I get too many, I might just start doing that. 
my this knife in here and just kind of and kind of just stir it around a little bit. See if I can break it up a little bit. If I can break it up, I might be able to get to melt a little faster. Yeah. And remember with the pink, like with the pink one, um, doesn't have to be like fully, fully melted. You can have a little chunk here and there, but I definitely don't want to put this much unmelted wax in there. I want still to melt this down some more. This is one of those big pieces that we had that we threw in here to begin with. I'm trying to break. Oop. Be careful what you do. Guys, be careful, be careful, be careful. So, just kind of breaking it down a little bit in there. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Just kind of, kind of just pushing it, pushing my knife straight down into it if I can. And just kind of breaks it up a little bit. As you can see, the smaller pieces are melting faster. Okay, this is way too big. Dude, I didn't mean for you to come out of it. Okay. I'm going to stop messing with that one. It's starting to really agitate me. <sighs> and help me try pouring a little bit more of the wax back into the candle container. Right down this. Ooh, 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 ooh. And just pour real gentle, because if you notice, I don't know if you noticed, but one of my wicks started to move, because I started to pour real heavy-handed heavy, heavy -handed in there, and I don't want to do that. I want my, my wicks to stay right where I've got them. So. Alright, we're down to the last little, little bit. Oh, I'm going to turn my water off because it's boiling good right now. <laughs> so, the heat doesn't need to continue to be on. Not for this last little bit. Okay. There we go. And the water is still boiling hot, even though it's not actually boiling. And if I could break this piece down just a little bit more. to be okay. I mean, there, see, there's still a little chunk in there, but it'll, if I pour it in here, I just went thump, thump. There we go. Okay. Gonna let that cool down before I try and wash it. The thump, thump made a little, the thump, thump made a little thingy there, as you can see. But okay, so I've got my candle in, as you can see. My wicks are above the candle wax. They're right where I wanted them. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the fridge to cool. There's still a chunk in there, but that's okay. It'll either melt or it'll just stay in their hole. But when the candle starts to melt, once you start burning it, it'll start coming out good. So this wick actually moved a little. Okay, there we go. All right, guys. So we'll see you in a bit and show you the finished product. All right, so it's been about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Um, if you push down, you can still see it's got to harden a little bit more. But this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put this back in the fridge, let it finish hardening, put the lid on it, and it'll be ready for burning. Now, before I 
burn it though I will cut this I will cut the wicks like just below the black part on them um, because the wicks here are too long so I just cut the wicks a little bit and as you can see like I said it's still hardening but there you go all right okay trouble trouble tell everybody keep oh, he's like my treats mom my treats Okay, take everybody bye. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm too busy eating right now. So tell everybody you'll see them tomorrow. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon.